Yo, what is up guys? Creative Corbin here today. Now, I'm not going to be talking using the camera for too long due to the rain, so I might have to voice over this video. But, let me tell y'all what this video is about. Alright, so let's get on with the review. I bought these hand tech, I think is what they're called. I forgot. Yeah, cool hand grips, wooden 1911 grips. Now, I'm going to be putting these on the gun today, but that isn't just the main point of this video. The main point of this video is to show how I actually got to attach these to the gun. But real quick, just look at these. Real wood, high quality, solid, durable, amazing. And it has a really high polish as well, so very glossy finish to it. In general, I like this. So, these are the plastic ones that the gun, that the gun came with. And as you can tell, they're okay. Compared to the other ones, they're not as good. These ones look way better. These ones, on the other hand, they're plastic, they're light. They get scratched up pretty easily. And let me show you what these look like on the gun. Yeah, not a good color code with the dark gray. But with the wooden ones, on the other hand, it looks 100 times better. You can just tell by looking at it. So, now I'm going to show y'all that this right there is why I'm going to have to carve out the handle. Because when you put them on, it doesn't fit properly. So yeah. I'm going to have to carve out a little gap inside of the handle. And I will show you what where I'm going to have to carve that out in just a second. See, these other plastic ones already have a gap card to do them, so they fit just fine out of, bo out of the box. But uh, they don't look good. I'm going to be changing them out with the wood ones, so yeah. Right here is where I'm going to be carving it out. Uh, I'm going to do this with a grinding wheel. I was going to use a Dremel, but I'm not able, I don't have the Dremel available at this moment. But yeah, I'm going to carve that out so that it'll fit just fine on the gun. Let's get into this. I did not realize how shaky the camera was when I was trying to carve this, so I uh, can't really film that. Sorry guys. All right, I couldn't show you all the sequence where I was carving it due to the fact that this was shaking the table too much and making the camera shake, but I got it to fit. All I had to do was carve out a little spot right there because of this. Now I'm gonna check and see if the uh, screws will fit and make this gun look amazing. So let's watch. All right, so these are what they came with. These are like shiny and brass looking. And now this I'm going, this gun's going to be used for airsoft, most specifically World War One style. So I'm just going to be reusing these black screws. Now it did come with rubber washers, so I am going to use these. I'm going to use these because, you know, they came with it and that's what you're supposed to do. So you put those over the screw like that, I heard. You put the screw inside there, I think. It doesn't fit too well, which is odd. Hmm. All right, 
seconds. So let me try this out. Now, because it keeps a constant pressure, you don't have to screw these super tight. And oh my goodness, look at that. Now, all I have to do is do the exact same thing to this grip. And sorry about this, hang on. Look at that. That is amazing compared to what it used to look like. That is like so beautiful. I highly recommend these. I found them on Amazon for about $26 six dollars no twenty five dollars total and they came in in two days even though the shipping said it would take a week so that was a big surprise for me oh yeah i also uh i scratched up the gun to make it a little bit more war torn and it looks amazing that is dope this is all dope all right guys i'm gonna get to carving the next one and we will move on all right just got done carving out the last one now, time to put it on for the official reveal. Oh yeah, hey guys. So, I wanted to let you know that I'm also going to try out the brass screws just to see how it looks like. So that's what you see me doing in this clip right now as I'm trying out the, uh, the brass uh, screws to make sure, just to make sure I'm not doing anything wrong. Also wanted to see if it looked good or not. I ran into a problem while screwing in the last one. It seemed as if it didn't fit correctly. I don't know if it was the wooden grip that wasn't lined up due to the carving or if it was actually the screw itself, but it wasn't fitting in too well. So I retried uh, re it, tried it again. Still wasn't fitting too well. And I didn't want to de-thread it because de-threading the actual threads of the screw will prevent me from actually screwing in the next the uh, the black screws that I'm going to be putting in. So that's what the problem I ran into while screwing in the brass ones. So that's why you'll see me soon change it back to the black ones. So the gold screws are a no-go. Maybe if you get these and you get this 1911, the gold screw the gold screws will be perfect. You know me, I'm an oldie, so I don't want them being gold. They don't look as old-fashioned. That is just my personal preference. Need to be careful not to scrape the wood on this. There we go. Now the other screw. Right. I'm going to re-tighten these other ones just a bit more. There we go. That has got to be one of the most beautiful airsoft guns I've seen, aside from the 
M1903 Springfield review that I did. Dog. All right. Thank you guys for watching. These were the M1911 wooden grips review, and this is my, K my not my KWC. Man, I always forget the name of this one. Here, this box will help you know. That's the gun that I got. Airsoft CO2, if you wanna know more about this gun, go check it out. I posted a video about it. Amazing gun. Now let me show y'all the comparison between the two. Look at that. Cheap plastic, too dark, doesn't go good with the black. Or the gray actually, is tint of gray. And then it just gives it a way more real feel to it. Like this feels so nice. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, ask any question I usually answer back. And I will see y'all in the next one. Peace out.